Hi friends, I'm Oksana, welcome back. This is a little bit different of a video. And I thought about posting or not posting and producing this video for a few months now. But I think it's an important enough topic and I think it's a great reminder to everyone to just not forget to take care of yourself first and take care of your health and most importantly, pay attention to our own physical and emotional health because it's key for everything and anything else we do in life. So for my story, I'm going to start at the end and then going to get to the beginning to give you some context of what actually happened and how I got out of it. As you can see, the title of this video is pretty dramatic, but it's true. So my story started about a year ago. Last year, I found myself feeling very off for what I typically describe as my normal self. I'm generally healthy, I'm full of energy, I am motivated, I'm driven, I tend to be an overachiever and do a lot. So a year ago, I noticed that I was sitting on the couch, not that I wanted to even watch television, I actually did not want to do anything. Even loading dishes into a dishwasher seemed like a great chore. And any stressor, any small stressful situation that we typically can run into on a daily basis seemed like this mountain that I had to climb. And I thought, well, I believe that I can do things to help myself in any given situation, doesn't matter what it is. So I try to apply what I typically would apply is, okay, I'm journaling, I am trying to motivate myself and I need to basically start to rev up my engine to get back on track. And so after a few weeks of trying, I noticed that none of those things that I would typically deploy, they worked. I still felt unmotivated. I did not want to do anything. And most importantly, I felt it was me, right? I'm doing these things and how come am I, nothing is working? How, why am I not getting out of this? So a uh, few weeks this lasted and uh, I started to, to ask serious questions at that point. So, um, okay, I might need to do something about this. But of course I didn't. And I think like many people who consider this, uh, themselves strong, I didn't want to pay too much attention to it and give it any time or thought. So I continued on. The more I continued, the more I noticed that things like, you know, self-care and finding time for myself, working out, those things, those became more and more difficult. And I basically had all my reserves and my attention on things that were critical to not my well well-being, but my uh, my livelihood, which is my work. So all the energy that I had, I poured into work and the things that I needed to do at work. And even that was difficult. I also noticed some physical signs. So my period, which was, pretty intense before now has become so excruciating that I had to take time off work for a few days and it was a lot of pain the painkillers that I would typically do like Tylenol or Advil nothing would be uh, too helpful and so it continued to get progressively worse so a combination of these emotional and physical signs it pointed me to um, need to find something outside of myself since nothing was working. So I did have an opportunity to go see a doctor. And since I'm, I'm very skeptical about doctors in America and how our health system treats things, because no one finds a root cause, they just give you pills. So anyway, different topic. But I was afraid to go to a doctor because I was afraid to be prescribed a drug essentially and to, to mask any of these symptoms and they would say, hey, go away. So I actually had an opportunity to travel back home to Russia and go see two doctors. One was endocrinologist and one was endocrinologist slash gynecologist. So they work in tandem together at the same clinic. But essentially they start with a questionnaire and they ask if uh, you have been stressed and then they run a lab. So we did those two things together. So we were there reviewing the questionnaire and we're reviewing the lab tests. And 
I'm looking at the results and of course I pick something that I know something about. So cortisol, which is a hormone of stress. Um, and I say, well, if I'm, if I'm uh, stressed uh, so much, why is my cortisol almost negative? <laughs> And my doctor said, well, how long have you been feeling this way? And I said, oh, about four years. So he said, yes, your body is unable to produce these hormones because essentially its reserves are depleted to the point that it, it's just maintaining, right? And it's not able to respond to stress factors like it normally would, which was would be an elevated level of cortisol, which is normal, but this was a cortisol that was completely dampened by the stress that I was going through and I have lived through through years prior. The reason I'm making this video is because the, luckily for me, right, we run, run the lab and my doctors prescribe a treatment which mostly consisted of supplements, vitamins and supplements none of the no antidepressants it's a little bit different system right so we're treating the root cause so giving the body what it's missing versus trying to fix the symptom we were successful with the treatment and my quality of life changed in six months it went from i would say one on a scale from zero to ten zero being the worst and being the highest and uh, we probably brought it to nine, I would say. So in just that short period of time of six months while I was undergoing the treatment and taking those vitamins and supplements, I was able to feel so much better. And I started to feel like myself again. So a successful outcome, right? I found a solution, I found, I treated it. But let me talk about the root cause for a second. So the root cause of why I'm talking about the stress and how it almost killed me is because the stress that I was taking on, so financial stress is my worst stress in life, and I was taking on a lot of it in the four years that spanned before this treatment happened. How do I know that this stress was different from any other stressful situation? Is because the thought about the worry and the thought about this financial burden would never go away. And it was so much, it was unstructured financial loan that I got myself into, but essentially it was so pervasive. I thought about it not 24 seven, but whenever I would have a free moment, it's there, it's there. It would pop up and it would make me go into the override of just being stressed out of what to do about it. At the end of the four year journey, I caught myself and I recognized that something was majorly off. And looking at my labs, I cannot tell you how frightened I was to see the markers because basically what it means is your body is sustaining and then the next stage is your body should be dying. Your should, body cannot function on not being supportive and not having enough nutrients. My diet was fine. My exercise was fine to the degree that I was able to exercise before I completely fell to the bottom. But those signs that of not feeling like myself and also thinking that it's me, like I'm doing something wrong, not thinking about the possible physiology and biology of what's happening with my body, but essentially finding and catching to those signs where it was a critical moment that helped me save myself in that situation. So the reason I'm sharing the story is because whenever you feel off for more than a few weeks and you notice that if you're a driven person, you find yourself in that in that cradle or that valley and you cannot get out, I would recommend if you can and if you have an opportunity to seek help and not feel like there is it's normal or not feel like there is nothing you can do because there is always something you can do. You just need to find the right people and the right resources to do that. But that experience has taught me that beyond anything in life, I do have to take care of myself first and foremost, because at the most foundational level, if I don't have my health, I'm not myself. And just the experience of feeling like you're a ghost, sort of, like you're just a fraction of what you used to feel like normally 
it's a scary moment and I don't wish on anyone to experience it. And friends, take care of yourselves and take care of your health. It's not as easy to do sometimes as, as I'm saying, but hopefully, and most importantly, when you see and hear those signs and notice them and pay attention to your what your body is telling you because they mean something. It's not in vain. Your body is not just throwing signs at you for no reason. It's talking to us all the time. So with that, like I said, a little bit of a off format of a video for me. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have been through anything like that and uh, let me know how you got out of it, most importantly. So next time we're in a super stressful, chronic stress situation, we can help each other get out of it a little bit sooner. Take care of yourselves. Love you. Thanks for watching.